Uh, so yesterday, one of my viewers pointed out uh, the different types of aromatase inhibitors. Uh, I do have a video I recorded on exomestane. I was going to talk about uh, suicide inhibitors later this week, but I figured it would be best just to make a quick video talking about type 1 and type 2 aromatase inhibitors just to help clear it up for people. Um, thank you for the suggestion. Um, so uh, type 1 uh, suicide inhibitor, it's a steroidal aromatase inhibitor, uh, XMS stain. Um, I think there's formistane or something else. Don't quote me on that. But XMS stain is the one you, you uh, commonly see used in bodybuilding. Um, I will have a full profile, like I said, up on it later this week. Um, but the difference between that and a type 2 AI, which is non-steroidal, competitive and reversible, um, which is a nasrazole and letrozole, um, type 1 um, irreversible aromatase inhibitors uh, bind irreversibly to the aromatase um, enzyme, basically neutralize it, um, which is where the name suicide inhibitor comes from. Okay, so once it attaches to the aromatase enzyme, it is completely neutralized. Uh, with type 2 non-steroidal uh, aromatase inhibitors, anastrozole and letrozole, which are more commonly used in bodybuilding, uh, they do not bind irreversibly to the aromatase enzyme. They, they will eventually fall off or um, the enzyme becomes uh, active again. Now, what this can do um you know the i think the reason why you know i was just speculating here the reason why people have leaned towards the non-steroidal um reversible ones because they tend to be easier to control um and uh you know you don't but the problem is when you come off of them if you just quit cold turkey is you <laughs> You, you end up having an estrogen rebound a lot of times where your that estrogen that was that aromatase that was uh, bound up before it becomes uh, available again for use in the body and your body it also um, continues to make more aromatase because um, and you end up with just a estrogen rebound and, and just a shit ton of <laughs> you know when you come off of it cold turkey so you have to taper off uh, at least in my experience, in, in uh, from what I have seen, the type two or type one, I'm sorry, uh, XMS stain, you can have the opposite problem where um, you've crashed your estrogen and it takes a while for it to uh, to come back up if you heavily use it. Um, um, t typically, with type two uh, rheumatase inhibitors, you got to be real careful of estrogen rebounds, especially coming off contest prep. Guys tend to quit cold turkey, and they get huge estrogen rebound. I know I've had issues with that. Um, um, also of note, and I'll talk about it in another video on side effects, but uh, the one advantage of XMS stain is it doesn't crush your lipids like uh, type 2 AIs do. It doesn't seem to have an effect on lipids, at least in studies have shown that it, it doesn't negatively affect lipids. So something else to consider. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully this was helpful.